you think is on it? Let's see one goddamn fucked up horror picture. Hey everybody, Lindsay here, and this is my review for X. X is the latest horror movie from Ty West. It's very much a throwback to the 70s, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the adult film industry of the 70s, the entrepreneurial filmmaking spirit. The basic storyline of X is a group of industrious, entrepreneurial adult filmmakers back in the 70s leave Houston for the wilds of Texas to shoot the next great adult film. There ain't nobody else out there like you. You know why? Why? Because you got that X factor. We get introduced to our cast of characters. We've got our porn actors, and we've got the behind the scenes people, and then we've got the director and writer who's making this film happen. It stars Mia Goth, Jenny Ortega, Brittany Snow, Kit Cuddy. <laughs> He was probably my favorite character. He did a great job in this. And Martin Henderson as Wayne. My overall thoughts on this film is I really, really dug it. The, the look and the feel of this film is straight out of the 70s. The, the setting, the costumes, the vehicles, the sound, just the look of everything just screams 70s. There, there's different filters and aspect ratios that he uses to tell the story and it just all integrates so perfectly. Mia Goth does an amazing job. She just she has this great look about her and it fits with this kind of film in this time period. Brittany Snow is also amazing. She does a very very good job. You know she's playing that stereotypical blonde big boob bimbo but as the movie goes along you find out there's so much more to her character than just that. And that's how it is with all these characters. They're set up as these horror archetypes. You know, who's going to get killed first, who's going to be the final girl, all that kind of stuff. But they, they spend so much time building up these characters and letting us know who they are that we actually care about them and care what happens to them. And, and they're not just horror movie fodder. And the way that Ty West sets this whole movie up is you think you know exactly what's going to happen because it has some of the same beats as the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. You know, they, they get in a van, they're on this road trip, they're, they're having their chit-chat in, in the van, they stop at this sketchy, icky gas station, and then they show up at this farmhouse. It's just, it, it follows those same beats, but then it completely subverts your expectations in, in a satisfying way. Not in a, not in a frustrating way, like some people do. Another thing I really love that this film kind of celebrates is the, the independent small filmmaker. I mean, how many of us have been involved with a, a <laughs> A short film or a film, you know, you make with your friends and your buddies and it's such a collaborative effort where everyone is pitching in and doing things not just in front of the camera but behind the camera and it's changing as you go because people get ideas and everyone just has so much ownership in it and it's such a blast to, to get together and make a movie with, with people that you like being around. And this film celebrates that in a weird, weird way. <laughs> you don't know what we're doing, does he? Well, it's better to beg for forgiveness and ask for permission. And it draws so many parallels and similarities, especially in the 70s, between porn and horror, because they both, you know, would take on this X-rated moniker, which doesn't exist anymore, and they would play in these grind houses, these flop theaters, where you didn't have to go through the studio system. It just went straight to the movie houses. Didn't have to go through edits. Didn't have to go to the MPAA. It was X and it's just here it is. You don't want to leave, do you? People's eyes are going to pop out of their damn skulls when they see this. So before I get into spoilers, I'll leave those who don't want any spoilers with my overall impressions of this film. I, I highly recommend you go see this film. It's... 
it's everything you're expecting and nothing what you're expecting. You this uh, he he does something very new and interesting with this genre, and it's it's about so much more than just horror. All right, now let's do some spoiler talk. <laughs> One thing that this movie definitely tells you is that old people are horny too. <laughs> My wife is not well. It happens after dark. I was I was so excited to see this movie because I love the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love the the look and the feel and the griminess and just that time period and the aesthetic of it. And Ty West does a perfect job encapsulating that from from the very beginning to the very end. And just the the story te the storytelling elements that he uses are just brilliant. The way we flash back and forth between scenes when there's a transition the way he juxtaposes the the film being shot with the film that we're watching is genius and it creates so much tension and things that you wouldn't normally get that much out of and the movie almost lost me at one point because it's going and going and going and the way it starts out okay is is the cops are there and they've discovered this just brutal scene and there's dead bodies everywhere. You can't tell who's dead or how they died. There's white sheets covering everyone, but you see them in different places, in different positions. There's something horrific in the basement, but they don't show it to you. And then our story starts 24 hours earlier. So the whole time you're watching this, you've got that scene in your mind. You're like, okay, how is everyone going to end up in those spots and in those positions? And that's kind of what you're waiting for through the whole movie. But instead, we're just hanging out with these characters and learning about them and learning about their ambitions and their dreams and, and what they think of themselves and what they're doing making this adult film. And you're also introduced and get to know the two old people that run this farm and live on this farm and their relationship with each other and the the horrifying nature of aging is a big thing in this movie and living living a life to its fullest and doing what you want to do with your life and being able to experience all you want to experience. That's a big theme in this movie. And like I said before, there was a point where this movie almost lost me and that's when we get to the landslide scene. I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm just captivated by what's going on because I don't know what's gonna happen next. And all of a sudden, Brittany Snow is singing landslide and we're cutting back and forth between that and this old woman who's also Mia Goth in incredible old age makeup just her looking at herself and the lyrics of the song are reflecting how she's feeling about her body and you know that her time has run out she's no longer young and beautiful she can no longer do these certain things she's no longer desirable and she just wants to feel young again <laughs> and so you have empathy for these characters that are about to do the most despair Despicable things. And there's one scene in this movie that I think is pure genius. And that is the scene where Church Mouse uh, is asking questions about the porn industry, essentially. Like, don't you have, doesn't it make you feel weird that your girlfriend is having sex with this other person and there's no feelings? And Brittany Snow has this great monologue about, you know, why she does it and 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 the 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 purpose that it serves and the positive nature of it for her life and her ambitions and and how she wants to experience life and then they start talking about how church mouse is going to do a scene in the film and they have this conversation about the expectations of a porn audience and it's just this perfect <laughs> mirror to a horror audience. They keep talking about why do people come to a porn movie. They come, they're coming to a movie like this because they want 
to see what they want to see. They want to see TNA. And you're sitting there watching this horror movie and there's been no blood and guts yet really besides the cow that got hit on the road. And you're like, we came to see some gore. We came to see some blood. We came to see some fucking carnage. Is it going to happen? And Wayne is like, you got to give the people what they want. I want to be in the movie. Well, you can't. The story can't just change midway through. And that's when the movie takes the turn and starts to give you exactly what you want. And that's when all these characters start, start getting killed in just the most horrible and fucked up ways. Ways you don't expect. So the subtlety of those meta references I thought were really great. And it really f focuses the film. That scene right there, in my opinion. And then we get the entire end with all the murders, the the pitchforks to the face and the old people sex. Oh my God. Oh. There's so many different kinds of just horror and horrific elements in this. There's horrific things with aging and horrific old people sex. And then there's violence and it's just the, the implications of what has been going on on this farm and why is just so fucked up but these are <laughs> but you they aren't just mindless evil people doing this you understand their motivations you don't agree with what they're doing but you understand why and that they're actual people they're not just just an evil symbol killing a bunch of nameless people you you have an investment in every character in this film and that's not easy to do and if you stay through the entire credit sequence, you get a little treat, you get a little sneak peek of Pearl, the prequel that Ty West has already shot and is, is ready to go. I think they're releasing it this fall. So you get to see how Pearl became Pearl. So that should be very interesting. It's, it looks very uh, surrealistic and campy and it, just fun. So I can't, I can't wait for that. <laughs> So if you have seen X, please let me know what you thought. I would love to hear about it. Put it below in the comments. But that is going to do it for this review. So until next time, this is Lindsay signing off. I'll check you later.